I am thinking we are come to our journey's end and that this should be the gate of the jail. It is certain it could be no other place. There was surely never in the world such a terrible great height of a wall. He that was used to the mountain to be closed up inside of that, what call had he to go moonlighting or to bring himself into danger at all? It is no wonder a man to grow faint-hearted and he shut away from the light. I would never wonder at all at anything he might be driven to say. There were good men were jailed before him, never gave in to anyone at all. It is what I am thinking, Mary. He might not have done what they say. Sure you heard what the neighbours were calling the time their own boys were brought away. It is Dennis Cahill, they were saying, that informed against them in the jail. There is nothing that is bad or is wicked, but a woman will put it out of her mouth, and she seeing them that belong to her brought away from her sight and her home. Terry Fury's mother was saying it, and Pat Horan's mother and his wife. They came out calling it after me. It was Dennis swore against them in the jail. The sergeant was boasting, they were telling me, the day he came certain, Derek Quayle. It was he himself got his confession with drink he had brought him in the jail. They might have done that, the ruffians, and the boy have no blame on him at all. Why should it be cast up against him and his wits being out of him with drink? If he did give their names up itself, there was maybe no wrong in it at all. Sure, it's known to all the village it was Terry that fired the shot. Stop your mouth now and don't be talking. You haven't any sense worthwhile. Let the sergeant do his own business with no help from the neighbours at all. It was Pat Rowan that tempted them on account of some vengeance of his own. Every creature knows my poor Dennis never handled a gun in his life. I wish we could know what is in the letter they are after sending us through the post. Isn't it a great pity for the two of us to be without learning at all? There are some of the neighbours have learning, and you bade me not bring it near him. It would maybe have told us... What way he is, or what time he will be quitting the jail? There is wonder on me, Mary Cushion, that you would not be content with what I say. It might be they put down in the letter that Dennis informed on the rest. I suppose it is all we have to do, so, to stop here for the opening of the door. It's a terrible long road from Slivach till we are travelling the whole of the night. There was no other thing for us to do but to come and to give him a warning. What way would he be facing the neighbours and he to come back to Derek Quayle? It is likely they will let him go free, Mary, before many days will be out. What call have they to be keeping him? It's certain they promised him his life. If they promised him his life, Mary Cushion, he must live it in some other place. Let him never see Derek Quayle again, or Daroda, or Dorinda Road. Oh, Mary, what place will we bring him to and we driven from the place that we know? What person that is sent among strangers can have one day's comfort on ours? It is only among strangers, I am thinking. He could be hiding his story at all. It is best for him to go to America, where the people are as thick as grass. What way could he go to America and he have no means in his hand? There's himself and myself to make the voyage and the little one in at home. I would sooner to sell the holding than to ask for the price paid for blood. There'll be money enough for the two of you to settle your debts and to go. And what would yourself be doing and we to go over the sea? It is not among the neighbours you would wish to be ending your days. I am thinking there is no one would know me in the workhouse at Uchterard. I wonder could I go in there and I not to give them my name? Ach, don't be talking foolishness. What way could I bring the child? Sure, he's hardly out of the cradle. He'd be lost out there in the States. I could bring him into the workhouse. I to give him some other name. You could send for him when you'd be settled or have some place of your own. <sighs> it is very cold here at the dawn. It is time for them to open the door. I wish I brought a potato or bit of cake or of bread. I'm in dread of it being opened, not knowing what we will hear. The night that Dennis was taken, he had a great cold and a cough. I think I hear some person coming. There's a sound like the rattling of keys. God and his mother protect us. I'm in dread of being found here at all. What are you doing here, women? It's no place to be spending the night time. It is to speak with my son, I am asking, that is jailed these eight weeks and a day. If you have no order to visit him, it's as good for you go away home. I got this letter er, yesterday. It might be it has given me leave. That's so. He should be under the doctor or in the hospital ward. It's no wonder if he's down with the hardship, for he had a great cough and a cold. Give me here the letter to read it. 
Sure, it was never opened at all. Myself and this woman have no learning. We were loath to trust any other one. It was posted in Galway at the 20th, and there's the last of the month. We never thought to call at the post office. It was chance brought it to us in the end. You poor, unfortunate women. Don't you know? Dennis Cahill is dead. You had a right to come this time yesterday. If he'd wished any last word at all. God and his mother protect us and have mercy on Dennis's soul. What is the woman after saying? Sure it cannot be Dennis is dead. Dead since the dawn of yesterday. And another man now in his cell. I'll go see who has charge of his clothing if you're wanting to bring it away. There is lasting kindness in heaven. When no kindness is found upon earth. There will surely be mercy found for him. And not the hard judgment of men. But my boy, that was best in the world, that never rose a hair of my head, to have died with his name under blemish, had left a great shame on his child. Better for him have killed the whole world than to give any witness at all. Have you no word to say, Mary Cushion? Am I left here to keen him alone? Oh, Dennis. My heart is broken. You'd have died with a hard word upon you. My grief for you to be alone now that spent so many nights in Cumbri. But where will I be going back? Through Gart? And through Kilbacanty? The people will not be coming out, Keenan, you. It will say no prayer for the rest of your soul. What way will I be the Sunday? And I go in up the hill to the mass. Every woman with her own comrade and Mary Cushion to be walking her alone. What way will I be the Monday and the neighbors turning their heads from the house? The turf Dennis cut lying on the bog, and no well wisher to bring it into the heart. But where will I be in the night time, and none but the dog calling after you? Do women to be mixing a cake, and not a man in the house to break it? But where will I sow the field, and no man to drive the furrow? The sheaf to be scattered before springtime that was brought together at the harvest. I would not begrudge you, Dennis, and you leave in praises after you. The neighbors keen and along with me would be better to me than an estate. But my grief, your name to be blackened in the time of the blackening of the rushes, your name. Never to rise up again in the growing time of the year. But tell me, Mary, do you think would they give us the body of Dennis? I would lay him out with myself only. I would hire some man to dig the grave. There now is all he brought in with him. The flannels and the shirt and the shoes. It is little they are worth altogether. These mountain boys do be poor. They had a right to give him time to ready himself the day they brought him to the magistrates. They to be wearing a Sunday coat. They would see he was a decent boy. Tell me, where will they bury him the way I can follow after him through the street? There is no other one to show respect to him but Mary Cahill, his mother, and myself. That is not to be done. He is buried since yesterday in the field that is belonging to the jail. It is a great hardship that to have been done, and not one of his own there to follow after him at all. Those that break the law must be made an example of. Why would they be laid out like a well-behaved man? A long rope and a short bearing. That is the order for a man that is hanged. A man that was hanged? Oh, Dennis, was it they that made an end of you and not the great God at all? His curse and my own curse upon them that did not let you die on the pillow. The curse of God be fulfilled that was on them before they were born. My curse upon them that brought harm on you and on Terry Fury that fired the shot. And the other boys, did they hang them along with him? 
Terry Fury and Pat Ruan that were brought from Derek Quayle? They did not, but set them free 12 hours ago. It is likely you may have passed them in the night time. Set free, is it? And Dennis made an end of. What justice is there in the world at all? He was taken near the house. They knew his footmark. There was no witness given against the rest worthwhile. Then the sergeant was lying. And the people were lying when they said Dennis Cahill had informed in the jail. I have no time to be stopping here talking. The judge got no evidence, and the law set them free. Are there any people in the streets at all till I call on them to come hither? Did they ever hear in Galway such a thing to be done? A man to die for his neighbor. Tell it out in the streets for the people to hear. Dennis Cahill from Sleeve Acta is dead. It was Dennis Cahill from Derek Quayle that died in the place of his neighbor. It is he was young and comely and strong, the best reaper and the best hurler. It was not a little thing for him to die, and he protecting his neighbor. Gather up, Mary Cushion, the clothes for your child. They'll be wanted by this one and that one. The boys crossing the sea in the springtime will be craving a thread for a memory. One word to the judge, and Dennis was free. They offered him all sorts of riches. They brought him drink in the jail and gold to swear away the life of his neighbour. Pat Ruan was no good friend to him at all, but a foolish, wild companion. It was Terry Fury knocked a gap in the wall and sending the calves to our meadow. Dennis would not speak. He shut his mouth. He would never be an informer. It is no lie he would have said at all, given witness against Terry Fury. I will go through Gort and kill Bacanti and Rowinda Rod and Daroda. I will call to the people and the singers at the fairs to make a great praise for Dennis. The child he left in the house that he shook, it is great, will be his boast in his father. All Ireland will have a welcome before him and all the people in Boston. I to stoop on a stick through half a hundred years. I will never be tired with praising. Come hither, Mary Cushion, till we'll shout it through the roads. Dennis Cahill died for his neighbor. The water is wide, I cannot get o'er. shall roll.